In this journey, we explore several hazardous yet captivating locations across the globe. We dive into the depths of the Great Blue Hole in Belize, to the devastating Guatemala City sinkhole. Serves as a stark reminder of the consequences of inadequate urban planning, as buildings are swallowed and lives are lost. We explore the depths of the Devil's Sinkhole in Texas, home to a thriving bat population. Descending into the sinkhole requires caution due to steep drops, loose rocks, and the accumulation of guano that releases toxic gases. Located off the coast up, revealing a mesmerizing underwater wonder. Now, diving in the Great Blue Hole is no easy task. Its depth made it perilous for even experienced divers. The currents were strong, and divers had to be careful not to get swept away. One of the biggest risks is something called nitrogen narcosis. When divers went too deep, they could experience a condition where nitrogen affected their thinking, making them feel disoriented and confused. But despite the dangers, adventurers couldn't resist exploring the mysterious depths of the Great Blue Hole. They marveled at the vibrant marine life that called this place home. Schools of colorful fish swim through the crystal clear waters while corals and other stunning creatures adorned the walls of the sinkhole. In 2010, something really scary happened in Guatemala City. There was a huge sinkhole that suddenly opened up and swallowed a whole three-story building. It was so sad because 25 people lost their lives in this terrible event. The sinkhole was caused by heavy rains that made the ground really wet and unstable. Now, let's talk about something more exciting and less scary. Sinkholes can be dangerous, but they can also be really interesting natural wonders. In Texas, there's a place called Devil's Sinkhole, which is amazing. It's a natural wonder that is home to millions of Mexican free-tailed bats. The sinkhole is super deep, about 350 feet, and it's about 60 feet wide. At sunset, the bats come out of the cave in a big swirling group, just like a tornado made of bats. Both the sinkhole in Guatemala City and Devil's Sinkhole are examples of karst topography. That's a fancy way of saying that they were formed by water dissolving limestone rock over a really long time. Like millions of years for rainwater to dissolve the limestone and create the sinkhole. The sinkhole is not just home to bats, but also other animals like birds and snakes. Across the world, in a faraway place in Canada, there is another remarkable place known as the Diavik Diamond Mine. It is located in the remote Northwest Territories, surrounded by rugged wilderness. This mine is one of the largest diamond mines in the world. But working in the Diavik Diamond Mine is no easy task. The mine is situated in a harsh Arctic climate, where the temperatures drop to freezing levels. Miners faced freezing cold winds and heavy snowfall as they went about their work and the work itself is tough. They used massive machines and explosives to extract diamonds from deep within the earth. While the miners worked diligently, they had to be careful of landslides and collapsing walls. The mine is a vast open pit, and the earth is not always stable. The safety of the workers is of utmost importance, so they had to be constantly vigilant and aware of the risks that came with their job. In the United States, there is a place called the Bingham Canyon Mine. Situated near Salt Lake City, Utah, this mine is truly enormous. It had been in operation since 1906 and is known as one of the largest man-made excavation sites on Earth. Imagine a mine so big that it measured about 4 kilometers to 5 miles wide and over 1.2 kilometers o 75 miles deep. It is like a gigantic hole in the ground. However, such a massive excavation came with its own set of hazards. The size of the Bingham Canyon mine made it susceptible to landslides and rockfalls. The miners had to be cautious because the walls of the mine could suddenly give way, posing dangers to both the workers and the nearby communities. But it isn't just underwater sinkholes and mines that held hidden dangers. On the shores of Lake Michigan in Indiana, there is a place called Mount Baldy. It is a beautiful sand dune, attracting visitors who love to explore and play on its sandy slopes. But little did they know, 
Hidden beneath the sand were dangerous sinkholes. These sinkholes could suddenly collapse, trapping unsuspecting people under the sand. It is like being swallowed by the ground. The unstable sand made it difficult for rescuers to reach those trapped below, making Mount Baldy a hazardous place. These were just a few of the extraordinary locations around the world that carried hidden dangers. From underwater sinkholes and diamond mines to vast open pit excavations and sandy dunes. These places taught us the importance of caution and respect for our surroundings. So, as we explore the wonders of our planet, let us remember to tread carefully and be mindful of the risks that may lie beneath our feet.